to practice with you how to find the location of an image from a concave mirror. So this is represented a concave mirror. This is the principal axis. I have F, the focal point, labeled. I have C, the position of twice F, labeled, which is called the center of curvature, where this is the radius of curvature. And I have an object here representing this, by, represented by that arrow. And I'd like to use ray diagrams to try and figure out where the image of this object will be and what its characteristics are. There are a whole bunch of rules you can use. I like to use two or three of the most simple rules to try and find where an image is located. The first rule says that any light that comes in parallel to this principal axis has to reflect off of the mirror and come out through this position F. So I'll just shorthand that as in parallel out through F after bouncing off the mirror comes out through F. Reflecting off there, if you will. So now we know is where light from the top of this object reassembles and makes a real image or appears to come from, and that would show us where the virtual image is. So I'm just going to write the top of this object. Of course, light goes every which way from the top of this object, spreading out. But I want to look at the gray or the beam of light that goes parallel to this principal axis. So from the top of my object, I'm just going to send one ray of light in parallel to this principal axis. Have it reflect off of my mirror and then pass through this focal point. That's my first line, my first rule. Now, of course, it still fits with the law of reflection. If I drew in a perpendicular to this mirror, the angle in equals the angle out, it's just a shortcut, so I don't have to pick up my protractor every time. Now, if light can go one way, we can imagine it could go the other way. But had I sent light in this way through F, we might expect that it bounced off and goes parallel. In fact, that's our second rule. So rule number two, if light goes in through F, after it reflects off the mirror, it's going to come out parallel to the principal axis. So let me take, again, light from the top of this object. This time, I'm going to pass it through that focal point F. Let it hit the mirror. Okay, so there's going in through F and then have it come out parallel. And at this point, I could stop because I can already see where these reflected rays are intersecting. So I know where the image is going to be. But it doesn't hurt to know the third confirmation rule if you want to use it. And that third confirmation rule says that any light that passes through C is going to hit along the normal line and thus come right back along the normal line. In other words, it's going to come back through C. So rule number three says light that comes in through C after it hits the mirror bounces back right out through C. Comes back along the same line. So if I draw a light coming in through my point C there, right through C, after it hits the mirror, it bounces right back out, same way that it came in. And then what I'm looking for is, again, the place where all of these reflected rays meet, and that's the location of my real image, right here. So the top of my object's image is here, and then the rest of the image would be like this. So I'm going to label that image. All the light met in this place, so it's what we call a real image. If all the light diverged, and your eyeballs had to extend that reflected light behind the mirror to see where it appeared to come from, that'd be a virtual image. This is a real image. And in terms of image characteristics, I can see that my image is smaller than my object in this case, that my image is located between C and F in this case, and then my image is inverted up to down relative to the object. If you want to confirm this mathematically, you could use this equation by presumably measuring what F is, 
measuring the object distance to the mirror, that's DO, and then solving for DI. And since your object is more than twice S distance from the mirror, you should expect that DI is going to be somewhere between S and 2S, somewhere in that range there. So I'm going to use these three rules. See where all the reflected rays meet. That's where the real image is. Or if they diverge, dash those diverging rays back behind the mirror and see where the virtual one is.